Lily without ya. He is my God and my protector. Would you make me love to more than words can express? I will pick me up from all the mess. I never let go. I never let go. Pull it up. <laughs> Big concert after the show, so stay tuned. Big up, big up, big up. Hey, positive, I gotta give you a pom pom. Gotta give you one of those. Give me one of those. All right, once we get all of the players, all of the children off the field, come on, kids, we gotta get into the third quarter of the game. And the third quarter of the Clash on the Rock just getting underway here at the National Sports Center. Paul Mittermeier, it's 4-1 MISL. MISL won the first quarter, the ISL won the second quarter. Unfortunately for the ISL, it was four goals in the first quarter for the MISL, and just one for the ISL in that second quarter. But they're not out of it yet, not at all. And uh, we'll see what they have left here in the tank for the second half. There's Alvarez from Greenfield, turns, shoots, and a good block there. Good hustle by the ISL. And Glenn Bean that time knocking that one away. Here's Novi. Alvarez back for Novi. And what a great scene in the halftime. Novi and the rest of the MISL guys having a kick and the ISL guys having a kick with some of the young players from the Kappa All-Stars. Kappa All-Stars receiving their awards at the half. What a day here, Mike. What a yeah. day of soccer. What a weekend. Uh, of events, but uh, I was saying uh, to one of the technicians here, seeing Novi roll around with one of the goalkeepers down there, they they're bonding, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's good to see because it's a motivating factor, especially for uh, youngsters like that, to have a uh, icon, someone to look up to, and that they can relate to. I said this yesterday. I thought just looking at the kids and watching them interact at the skills competition on Saturday, you just saw a bunch of kids being kids having a chance to get a kick and just have some fun and uh, a lot of times you, we miss out on that sometimes and uh, it was great to see that on Saturday. Corner kick here for the MISL, Ricardinho presiding. Good ball for Gibson. Leo shooting high and wide. And right now Melinda's ISL guys is kind of hanging around. You never know what can happen. You can score goals quickly two, in this two, game. Two quick goals, and they're back into it. Look at this ball. Great play up ahead. But yeah, Sagu. Sagu was off to it, too. <laughs> <laughs> you get all excited that you see a keeper coming out. Like it's a routine play. Oh, did he keep it in? Well done there by Ian Koch. Great ball up ahead, just a bit too far. Looking for Kevin, Kevin Lamb that yeah. time. Outstretched foot there of Kevin Lamb. Good adjustment there by the Lindos ISL players as they overlap and have Lamb come forward. Better matchup that time as he uh, tries to make a run with Ricardinho and Lamb actually got a couple steps on his man. They just couldn't quite connect and actually turns into a three line violation. So a restart from the top of or from the yellow line. Novi is so good at these. And there's a goal. John Barry. John Barry Newsom. And that's uh, what's that? The third minute. Third minute of the second of the third quarter. <laughs> so 
5-1 MISL. I'm not trying to discourage the ISL or anything like that, but I said it's going to be a bath. I meant like 10-0, 10-1, I think the ISL have struggled. The players have struggled with the uh, athleticism and, uh, and the, the, you know, the, give credit to the MISL guys. They've worked hard and they've really done a good job. They've kept their feet moving and really have really put the pressure on the ISL all night long. Yeah. I'm being realistic here. These are professionals. That's why I was worried about the second half. If we could stay relatively close in the first half, I said, oh, okay, that's a good thing. But if, uh, if we're not close. Let's see how the Lindos ISL guys handle themselves here. Yeah, this is going to be a very important quarter. Aberdeen. Down the line, Coke running hard. Nice play by Ian Coke, strips it. Oh, Aberdeen misses it. <laughs> Novi now, just under 10 minutes remaining in the third quarter. Clash on the Rock 3 on BSN. Now here's the problem if you're the ISL. Great Possess job. It's possession it's, it's, and it's, run down the clock. Exactly. It's a uh, keep away. And the Baltimore Blast and the MISL have been the best. When they get, you, when they get a lead on you, it's so hard to come back on them because they possess the ball so well and they force you to chase, sit back and wait for the counterattacks. Oh, uh, Baskin. Darrell, he has Kaya Darrell to his left. Goes to Aberdeen, back to Skipper Darrell. Now Clay Darrell. Oh, Gibson. How about that? Great balance Still there. Still on his feet. Oh, he's mad with the call on that one. And Gibson wanted that one. Baskin. Oh, Aberdeen was waiting for it, and Novi read it well. Was able to slip inside. Kaya Darrell. Gibson. Oh, is that John Berry giving it away? Gibson doing the cleanup work. It's still Darrell also there. Clay Darrell. They'll call the foul here, so good restart opportunity here for the Lindo's ISL side. They have to get something going soon. Another goal or two. And that'll be all she wrote. Yeah, I need to try to stay in contact, definitely. Yeah. Full goal differential is Clay Darrell blasts it against the three man wall. Quick corner now. Baskin. Just need to be able to get past Sagu once or twice. Nice play by Lonnie Bascom here. Oh, oh the, uh, right. Jason Lee off the post. <sighs> That's the one that was needed. Would have given them the spark. That was a great play by Lonnie Bascom. Good deliverance. Now an illegal, well, let's see what the call is going to be here. It's the illegal procedure, so it's going to be a kick in for the ISL. Oh, Jason Lee wants that one back. Goes off of Lee, it'll be a kick in for the MISL. Ball here for Asad Poor. Kicks it out of play. Mm -hmm. Just under six and a half <coughs> remaining in this, the third quarter. <clears throat> oh, 
Nice ball by Johnson. Oh. Glenn Bean doing some nice things and then gives it up. Just a bit wide for Sikoy. Jason Lee will put some pressure on in the defensive midfield. Nice pressure here on Novi and forces Novi back to his keeper. And I think that's the difference tonight. And so there's a situation where Lee would probably be able to overman, overpower his man, maybe get an errant pass back to the keeper, maybe have the keeper make a mistake, but uh, not tonight with Sagu. Here's a chance now. Alexander. Nice cut just a bit too far for Lee. Jason Lee could have corralled that one. Some time and space would have been there. Cardino. Finds Gibson. Newsom on the touchline working on the left flank. It's a shot and a deflection off of Alexander. All the way back to Gibson, Leo Gibson. What a great job by Gibson to get to the ball in front of Lee. Jason had a chance there. Lee and Newsom chasing. <clears throat> Ralph Bean Jr., Kaya Darrell. Coke will have one, yes! Go! There you go! <laughs> Ian Coke with a blistering shot past Sagu. In the 11th minute of the third quarter, you can't beat Sagu unless you shoot. Well, you can't, you gotta yeah, shoot. Exactly. You gotta shoot. Ball, not really the upper 90, but to the far post, and Sagu couldn't cover that much ground. Great strike. Now, can the ISL use that as a spark plug and build some momentum? At least put a little bit of fear into the MISL guy. I would say fear, concern. Concern, okay. <laughs> I don't think they fear them too much. Look at that distribution pass. Oh, they're going to go back to possession here now. Burn out the clock. Three minutes left yeah. in the third quarter. Still got a three-goal cushion. Novi. Greenfield should be mentioned. Open the scoring here. The first minute of the match. He's back on. Novi inside to Sabu. Greenfield, Jonathan Greenfield. John Barry Newsom. Oh, great ball oh, by Everton. Uh, that's the poor. Oh, look Goal. at that. Alvarez, Byron Alvarez finally on the sheet, the leading scorer for the MISL. A great, great job of one-touch soccer there. And a big answer by the MISL. Under two minutes now, remaining in this third quarter. Lindo's All-Star Soccer Weekend, Kappa Classic, and uh, the Clash on the Rock 3. Here's something going for the ISL. Aberdeen now. Oh! Off of Newsom, deflection, and Segu was right there. As Quincy Aberdeen didn't want to shoot. Yeah. Tried to cross instead. Kevin Lamb was right there in the center. They should have done better. Nice play by Kaya Darrell there to uh, 
strip Millwood of the ball and actually win the ball for the ISL side. As I said earlier, Paul, if you want to beat Segu, you have to shoot. You have to shoot, right. <laughs> he just gets into your head so badly, though, that you think that you have to be so perfect. And you stop thinking that he's just a guy, you know. He makes you start picking the corner. He makes you start pick the corner, which means he starts shooting wide. He makes you think about making the extra pass, which gives his defenders a chance to get back. And he really gets into your head. Oh, whistle on that one. Head yeah. ball, yeah. Aberdeen looking for Daryl up there. Lonnie Baskin. Daryl to Daryl. A little bit too much on that one for Clay from Kaya. Gibson, Sagu. Utilizing the full width of the pitch, Paul. Yep. I know we'll be willing to run the clock out here in the third. As a matter of fact, it's out. (laughs) Commanding 6 2 lead for the MISL. So uh, we are three quarters of the way down and a four goal cushion, six to two, the MISL uh, winning. The final score last year, Paul, was 8-3, wasn't eight, it? 8-3, correct. So it was a six goal differential, 8-3-5 goal differential. Right. Last year was a 1-1 tie after one quarter. Mm-hmm. It was 3-2 MISL after the, at the half as uh, Mahid Asadpour scored in the 13th minute to give the MISL the lead. And they only really took control in that uh, second half. Ricardinho twice from Everton. Then Everton from Ricardinho was 6-2. Same score after three. And then uh, the MISL got goals from Matthew Stewart and Everton in the uh, fourth quarter before Kwame Steed scored to round out the scoring last year. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Same score, 6-2 in the, after three. But we'll see if the uh, Lindo's ISL guys have anything left in the tank here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> 